my beautiful Pisces. Looks like you're going to have a good month too. It kind of depends on what you're going to do. Are you going to take some action or are you going to keep it in the clouds? <laughs> so this is going to be your love forecast for August 2017 in the love area. Um, welcome all you new ones. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Cindy. I am the modern day spiritual advisor. I use multiple modalities to help you on your path, including Tarot. And now the author of my upcoming book series, Concepts Create Reality. So I did want to let everybody know, those of you that are waiting for the other signs, it's taking about an hour or two to upload and release. So I may have to take a little break and then I'll get the rest. Um, this is going to be the last one for about an hour or so. Um, so let's get started, my gorgeous ones. You have some great potentials. Um, <clears throat> In your first position, you have the Ace of Swords, so you have new beginnings. Uh, this is uh, in your now, now is for August. These are the energies for August. Um, some of you may have started now, like this is July 17th right now. Um, and some of you, yeah, you're evolved enough that it would start now for some of you. So did you meet someone or you've just met someone or you're starting a new uh, phase in your life? Um, and I see the sword here. It, you had to take action to have this done. And the reason I say this is, for those of you that don't have this going on, you have till August to get this done. Because you have what's crossing you is spirit. You have the Ten of Wands. So there is a decision, a phase that you need to move through that's really, really causing you some issue about why you haven't progressed in a certain phase. This is in your love area. So for some of you, it's a loved one that you haven't let go of. Like maybe you've let go of them physically, but in emotionally, you're still tied to them. Uh, for others of you, this is, uh, if your love has been in your work, whatever this is, Spirit's saying this is really, really important for you to get through. The Ten of Wands tells me that with a heavy heart, you move forward so you do actually do it it's just with the heavy heart and that's what you're dealing with kind of right now till the august and then in august it really comes to pass so the reason i say this is because you have the palace of ones in your third position so in the recent past in your love area you were trying to make action you were thinking about what you needed to do you were trying to make the decisions but you didn't take the action you left it in your mind you left it in um, the ether. You're trying to progress. You're trying to find new love. You're trying to find a new phase with your love, but you're not taking the action. So this is why this is important. It looks like you've moved through it. You're going to take the action and start something new, but you have to like, this is what's really important for you. Okay. For others of you that are in a relationship, um, you, it, this was about standing your ground and taking action in that. It looks like you do do it and come to a new phase as soon as you let go of the past. Because some of you keep bringing the past back to that person. Mm -hmm. And that's what's preventing you from moving forward. Now, my beautiful ones, in your fourth position at the beginning, so the two week, the first two weeks in August, you have the judgment card. So they are saying be decisive. That's why you have the ace of swords. Be decisive, be courageous. The swords is very brave. The swords takes action, makes decisions and does what needs to get done. That's what they're asking you to do in the first two weeks of August is to make your decision not just look at the choices, but actually make the decision and move forward in love. Because you, what you have in the 10th position is the lovers. But if you're not doing this stuff, this lovers is not going to come in. And this is this lovers is who you're wanting, the karmic card. This is the person. And even if you're with somebody now, they've got, they can be this person if you move through this stuff and let go of the old stuff. So in your fifth position, I always ask your higher self, what is the one message they want to bring through to help you move forward in love? You have the faith card. So they want you to know in August, you're moving towards this. You're moving towards that big, um, 
relationship, that big um, bonding, that big um, contract for some of you, that big institution, that big place that you're wanting. So um, you're on the path to get that. If that's what you've asked for, that's what's coming. It's in your fifth position. They want you to know that you're dealing with that in the month of August. So in your sixth position, at the end of, or the second half of August, you have the Two of Swords. So again, you'll make these decisions and then you want to go back and you want to think about it and rethink about it and rethink about it and not make a choice. You have to make a decision. So they're saying it in the second half, you're going to feel like you're not being told everything. Maybe you're not seeing it right. But, and so you're ready to make the action, but you're waiting for something. And they're saying, don't wait for something. Take the action. Say what you want. Do what you want. Tell your partner or if a new loved one comes in, let them know how you feel, right? Don't stand in the middle. They're saying you have everything within you to make this move forward. Okay, my love? Now, in your seventh position, this is your fear. Some of you, you're fearing, will that offer ever come in? Because I do feel like a lot of you are working, working, working too. It's funny because you guys in the Aquarians are working. Um, so you have the Knight of Coins in your fear, which means will you ever get that offer? Will that person ever come in? Will that loved one ever come in? Will that project ever come in? Will that contract ever come in? Will that money ever come in? Will that house ever come in? That's just a fear. It's just a fear. A fear is there to remind you of what you want and what you don't want. Now focus on what you want. It's just there to tell you what you don't really want. You don't really want that you're not going to move forward. So take action, make choices, and move forward, right? Now, in your eighth position, this is the way a loved one will be viewing you or dealing with you. For some of you, this is the universe. They are saying exactly what they said before. It's funny how they do that. Um, take action. The six of wands is not just about standing your ground, but actually doing something about it, saying something, standing for something being uh, that person that you said and having integrity and then backing it up okay and for others of you a loved one will be viewing you this way they will see you progressing in this way and that's a great thing so um congratulations because it looks like some of you do move through this and they can take action now in your ninth position this is uh, your hopes and dreams, but I call it your outer realm. I call it the thing that you're pulling into you. Um, so you have the seven of cups. You have opportunity, 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 opportunity. Those seen and unseen. Those are waiting to come in. You just have to take the action. You can't put yourself here. You can't just daydream about all of your relationships. You need to actually do something to have them be brought down. Because you have these beautiful, beautiful experiences that want to come into your life in the physical. That's in your outer realm, so it looks like you can do it, okay? Now, in your 10th position, this is what you'll be working through and working on in the month of August. You have the lover's card. Some of you do meet someone. And I'm not just talking about you kind of glance each other they will approach or you will approach you meet someone and it feels like you've known them forever for others of you you're getting to this phase with your loved one or potential loved one okay this is a karmic card it means 50 50 it means you have uh 50 percent and they've got 50 percent about the lesson that you're going to learn and then whether you're going to stay or go after the lesson okay all right, my gorgeous ones, I love you, love you, love you. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And again, if you're watching this in one of the other signs, it's taking me a while to get these processed. It's not me, it's YouTube as usual. I love you, love you, love you. Bye.